Okay, on a license plate. How many of you all would want that on a Nebraska plate? Don't raise your hands because there are a lot of people who would. They'd want to ha have emblems of the Confederate flag. There have been state departments of motor vehicles who objected. Some of those objections were challenged in court and the state's position was upheld that these types of messages are not appropriate for the license plate. It was not an issue of free speech, but the plate in reality belonged to the state and the state could determine what was on it and there were standards that had been set and they were not unreasonable. This so-called pro-life has made people crazy. The one who is now the Director of Veterans Affairs was as pro-life as I thought anybody could be. But he did not come all the way down. He did not cross every T and dot every I in exactly the way the pro-life clack wanted. So they came out actively and opposed him and I watched the tears stream down his cheeks. He and I had our set twos on the floor and I said, do you see what these people are? who you've been working with? You see what they're made of? How narrow-minded, how hateful, how vengeful they are? And I'm looking now at the political wing, those political interests who want this on the license plate. Senator Watermeyer is their point person today. I have 25 or so amendments and I will take them up until cloture is voted. And if it looks like this plate is going to go, then it's going to have something to do with my attitude about this session of the legislature because I've read some things that your governor said in Washington, D.C. in praise of Donald Trump and the things that are going to be done in this state. He's going to cut spending and he's going to give tax breaks. And you know where he's going to cut? The vulnerable the helpless, he has not brought or supported one bill that would help the poor, and his ilk have not done so either. The vulnerable, the people right now in this state who cannot obtain medical coverage, cannot provide it for themselves and their children, and these people work. And where's your governor? And you all support him and he bought some of you all. I want you to see what the one who bought and paid for you really is. And I ought to get each one of you a copy of Stevie Wonder's record, signed, sealed, delivered, I'm yours. Then you could send it to the governor and say, Gov, this is me. I'm signed, sealed, delivered, I'm yours. If I was a piece of prime beef, the stamp on it would be, Governor Pete Ricketts certified. And you let him make you do things that destroy your humanity and your self-respect. One minute. Things you know better than to do. Things you would never do in private life. But getting in this little peewee office meant so much to you that everything could be sacrificed. So we have a bill like this before us. Senator Chris has indeed been an exemplar of what a good legislator should be. And he and I have disagreed on some issues so heatedly in the past and on occasion that people thought we might begin to take it out on each other's legislation, which we never did. But when people have a genuine respect, they don't have to act like they're at a tea party. I meant the kind where you crook the little finger and sip that fragrant brew known as tea in a delicate cup. Thank you, Mr. President. Thank you, Senator Chambers. Senator Walls, you are recognized. Thank you, Mr. President. And first of all, I have to say I sure missed all you guys uh, Friday, um, but I want to say or shout out a congratulations to the Fremont High swim team. I was there watching my daughter and her teammates swim, so just wanted to shout out congratulations. I rise today in opposition of, to LB46. I wanted to rise today for the record so that my colleagues and constituents know why I am against this bill. We discussed LB45 earlier in the session, and when we were debating that bill, I thought to myself, this is a great thing, um, and a special privilege to those who served and protected us. 
I support LB45 and will continue to do so because I think it does give special recognition that is deserved to those individuals who protected and served our country. But when I read this bill, I noticed that there are 46 different license plates already. I feel each new one makes the existing ones less significant. I consider myself pro-life, but I really think that as I look around, there's nobody here that's not pro-life. What does pro-life mean? I think most people consider themselves pro-life, depending upon the definition that you use. I think we all share an interest in the well-being of people. I rise today because I made it clear to the voters of my district that I do not believe abortion is the answer. And they are owed an explanation on the record on my view on this issue. I will not be supporting this bill because this does nothing to prevent or reduce the amount of abortions. If I thought that one life could be saved because of this bill, my stance would be different. But I feel this will open ourselves up to unnecessary political battles that we could instead use that time finding solutions that would help reduce the amount of une unexpected pre pregnancies. I've researched what other states have done regarding Choose Life license plates. And from what I have found, each time one was passed, there would have been a pursuing legal battle, battle that would likely have cost the state thousands of dollars. Are these license plates that don't change access to abortion worth the dollars that it will cost the state in legal battles? Maybe we should spend the money teaching young men and women self-esteem, self-respect, responsibility instead. Are these license plates worth spending hours of, on the floor debate? There will be a filibuster on the general file. If it passes, it will be the same on select file and final reading. Does this license plate open up new license plate discussions on political issues that you may or may not agree with? In two years, it could be the right to choose plate, an LGBT pride plate, or maybe I should have a I support public schools plate. Where are we gonna draw the line? I'm focused on supporting and educating young men and women in Nebraska and advocating for the unborn, and this bill does nothing. We all want to do the state's business. Let's do something that's actually meaningful. I yield the rest of my time to Senator Chambers. Senator, thank you, Senator Walls. Senator Chambers, you yield one minute and 34 seconds. Thank you, Mr. President. Thank you, Senator Walls. If we're going to argue about abortion, I'd rather the bill be an abortion bill. I did manage to obtain a license plate that says something about conserve mountain lines or something along that line. My concern for those animals overcame my aversion, which is strong, One minute. toward message plates. But mine does not even deal with the human being directly. It goes toward wildlife, which is that which belongs to all of the citizens of this state. There is no political message on that plate, and it is one of the best designed plates to ever adorn a car in Nebraska carrying a Nebraska plate. My amendments all are designed to raise an issue that is confronting society and where most of them are concerned. I'll be able to show that those who might support this form of this plate would be against the kind of issues that I'm talking about. But that remains to be seen. I will take the time, I will carry it to cloture, and whatever it makes people feel, it won't be as hostile as what I feel about this plate. Thank you, Mr. President. Thank you, Senator Walls and Senator Chambers. Senator Moorfeld, you are recognized. Thank you, Mr. President. I just wanted to respond to Senator Watermeyer's comments on my amendment. Um, being as being as though that he stated that we should have a public hearing on my amendment, I would be very interested to attend the public hearing where people oppose stop child abuse um, because I'd like to have a conversation with them. And I know Senator Kurt Friesen is looking for some political diversity on his transportation committee. So maybe I'll switch committees next year just to hear that testimony in that debate. I don't believe that this needs a public hearing. Um, I